Run away! <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. That's Aye. that's a disc two problem. Okay. Hello, viewers. Hi it's there. Been at least a day. How have you been? Yeah, it's I've been weary from anticipation mm. about this room. We left Aye. Doogie's computer on all night. <laughs> Aye, it's been a week later. My living room is on fire. But we're alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here we are. This is Final Fantasy VII, played by us, the Cave. Do a bit of stupid voices and stuff, as you know. Um, Sh stupid. So I here we go. Well, yeah. intelligent, Thank exquisite, and right. elegant voices from Sir Douglas Esquire. Highly, the... highly trained. Anyway, <laughs> let's try this wee machine. Yep. Oh, maybe I hadn't, I hadn't even done any yet. So no. So how many doors you get? Do you remember? You get three doors pretty sure it said so you could get see that one in the middle there the item in the middle you could get that mm -hmm. um one two easy yep. yep that's that's simple stuff but that's the obvious one. Oh, whoa so go round the other side and have a look yeah, we'll have a look up. so, okay, so there's an there's, item there and that's, that's got an open door and i that one the one's got a red door i'm not even sure you can open that yeah right so you uh, go down the bottom and have a look at that one on the left then just in case. All the way. Right, so, yeah, see those two doors that are yeah. in the door? That's where you would need to go to the right again. So it's that door there. Yeah, there's four doors here. Mm -hmm. So we need to go up again, check it. And we just need to factor in the fact that there's a door extra there. Let's see, one... No, they can't. That can't be done with three doors, unfortunately. That, that red one can. Yes. And why don't you try it? It might just be an open door. Yeah. What? Yeah. We're just gonna go. For... <coughs> yeah. It's. Can you come back be... when you get a key card and open more doors? Maybe. Actually, no sure. But remember, it's you can always clear it. It's only when you. It. Oh. Oh no! You have me. It's only when you um put a coupon in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's it. A B coupon. coupon. Alright, so now you take that back and open more doors. Is that how it works? Oh, of course it is. Aye, we're daft. <laughs> but no, but I think you have to give the coupon back, don't you? I don't know. Maybe not. I could never be arsed with this, but no. I was, yeah, I just it, listen, this. Aye, same. Right, all clear. Start again from the beginning. Yes. And aye, it kind of removes the stakes here, other than like boredom. So let's just. Yeah. I'm gonna go this oh, way. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't open new doors. Go to the ones that you've already got open. No, they're sure. they they they, they close them. Aye, they they reset. Oh what? So how many doors have you got total now? Did it say there? Three. It just it literally resets the whole room. All right, that's and shady. look, that item's fuck gone. Us. That item's back. Aye, fuck us. Right, I'm gonna go over here. This is the one they don't think you'll do. This is the yeah. less obvious route. That's true. Yeah. Maybe because it doesn't go anywhere. And why would them to go there? But here's one, right? Yeah, here's I don't one. think Nabdi's ever got this one before. Watch us. <laughs> yeah. Coupon. Oh, a coupon, aye. Yeah. And then, can we go up here? No. Oh. Alright, yeah, do it. Isn't this how you spy on the meeting, maybe? Uh, yes, but not in this room. Right, okay. You are in a duct when that happens, though, aren't Yes, it? from the toilet. Yeah. From the toilet, yeah. And this means. Oh, now you can just go up yeah. and drop down into that one. Yeah. And grab both the coupons. Aye. That... See? Man. I know What's what. What's the point? Uh, to get coupon robots. Alright. So you could you could have got all three there utilising the vents. You know? I don't know you, how you, you need could to have. You reset it. Ah, you can because you can go back no, to the first one. The coupons reset, remember though. I know, but look, turn right and you're back in the first one. So can you not just jump in the first one rather than open doors? Do you know what I mean? Reset uh, it and then jump in the first one. Aye, okay. It fucking tells you not to go in the ducks. That's what's annoying me right now. <laughs> yeah. Should we do it or should we just take our two coupons? No, let's get all three because I've never done this. Right, okay. I know it's a pain in the arse, but... Fucking don't tell me to no go in the ducks then. Bastard yeah, game. Exactly. Oh, oh you can't eat. Oh, it oh, doesn't look like you can climb in here. Coffee, right, so... I'm gonna. <laughs> no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, this can be done. Okay. 
Try it once more. Right. Do what you just did. Really? That way? Uh, well, actually. It's how would you get it's the... It's duct there. I mean, it's that middle one. I don't know how you get that one, because... I don't know. You need to save two of your doors, ah, basically. That's... I don't think that can be done. Is there another duct somewhere that you're missing? I don't think there was, but... Well, like, is there top, a... Maybe? Like a spare duct? Like, can we get in a room with one door? Yeah, no. No, that one. Like Up the top. Can you even open that door there? Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's try, try it. And then... And then go here. And nah. Oh, wait, ah, yeah, well, so, what about this? Right, let's just give me a... Give me a wee mo, because I've got a door left now. Oh, yeah, we've got a door left. Right, good. Right. In the duct. Go in here. And I think... If we but go we, up we the middle still... one... Yeah, yeah we've actually, done it. Yeah, we've I done think... it. Ugh, we've... Caved our way to nonsense here. See, hard mode is nothing to the cave. Ah. I read something, so somebody was talking about Final Fantasy IX on Reddit. And they mentioned one of the things they really liked about the kind of near the end is see when you get like the four bosses in a row. <coughs> they were like, I love how the game is so like shockingly difficult unless you've power leveled and how ah. you're forced to get all your equipment and stuff or like change your equipment change your abilities like all the time and it's just it's just chronically hard and i was like oh my god like you did just jammy dodger your way through the whole thing apparently well we jammy dodgered it but also plus skill you know and vv you know, clutches and vv clutches yeah go and watch that viewers i was uh at, we didn't grind one bit, despite what Doogie says all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sea was worth it as well. It's an old material. That's excellent. Yeah. Yep. And four slots yeah. is great because that's two groups of two linked mm. materia slots, isn't it? Please use caution. Once you have exchange coupons for items, you may not select all clear. Exchange coupons, yes. <laughs> no, was the option there. <laughs> somebody at the translation department of Square during this era who is, is... from Ayrshire. Aye. Like Coupon. From fucking door. <laughs> Beep. Coupon exchange complete. That's almost doxing. That's like. Yeah, exactly. Sidestep the doxing Aye. wonderfully there. But if you were to Google, you would see that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know. Anyway. Um, do we have any. I've got a. Aye, we just got this. Resist yeah. shoot, which I don't know what that is, but I'm going to put this on. Yeah, why not? Yeah, like on Tifa. Right. Who's no. having the four, four slots? And then is that an arm? Ah, yes. Yeah. So it's just it's better. Yeah, that's than great. Yeah. No, I'm tempted to put that on Tifa as well because yep, then I'll give her all cure, like we talked about a minute ago. Yep. So get you on that. So Tifa's using everything we got there, and, and you don't then... even need to remove anything. Yep. Oh, we do. Well, technically, I, I need to take death blow out. Oh. Take no. I to take restore out. Oh, well, I've and done. put it on where you've. I like it this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There. Since you don't use death blow, what is the least used materia from somebody else? Well, death blow um, gives me good strength, so I actually quite like it. Oh, okay, right, fair, fair, fair. So, uh, right. can you put elemental on someone? I guess I just, I, the, my, my, my problem is I don't like doing elemental until, like, like, I, I know there's an element coming that I want to, like, thingy. I guess if I've got, I've got a spare slot, then it doesn't... No, you can do it on an armour, and then it doesn't hurt. I know what you mean, like, I don't you don't want to be weak against anyone. I don't have... Yeah. Me oh, yeah, well, so... Why don't I take... Hmm, I've got nothing that she can have. What's that? Oh, blue right, thing? here we go. Right, watch us. Let's take ice for here. Oh, buttons. Let's take ice for here. Yeah. And put it on him as an armor. Yeah, there you go. Right. And while I'm here, it's been all. Viewers, you've been missing the menus. I know you have, so here you go. Extreme menu and simulator here mm -hmm. with the cave. Right. All right. And we've got we've conquered that for. Aye. Dominated. I dominated it. 
Right up we go then. How many is there again? I know we... You get to 69 eventually, but I can't remember if that's like you get to 68. Uh, at any point. Yeah, and then you need to get the key for the lift, don't you? Yep. Let's yeah. save. Oh, let's save. Oh, well, and I've just oh, used nice. potions, you bastard. Unlucky. Unlucky. Mm-hmm. Oh, Look at that chilling guy there. I know, I was going to say, like, Jinky's so tired because he went to the gym and worked out in his suit. <laughs> yeah, well, that other guy is on the treadmill on his suit. He's at it. Yeah. Please let me get some rest. Is that vending machine, I think? Yeah, well, I, I thought no. it was. Uh, listen. Oh, here's a wee... Uh, it's not foreshadowing, but something we'll come back to later. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm, don't think so. Really? No, no, don't think so. I think I just skipped this floor as well. What's this? A megaphone? This is Kate Sif's ultimate weapon that we don't pick up. Okay. I don't know until this won't do any good. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Then. I think it's his ultimate, or if it's not ultimate, it's like one of his really best ones. So yeah. you have to remember to come back here. And the, only re and the only time you can come back here, I think, is that big scene where you jump out the high one. Yeah, that's true. Please use a different floor, Shinra Company Repair Management Department. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't very exhaustive in this game back in the day. You no, know? kids like, are age man, weren't they? I don't think. Oh, I know, I know. You just wanted to get to the fight <gasps> and the story and stuff. Yeah, no chance. No chance. When we like kick it or something. <laughs> yeah, phones it. You must be a visitor. Feel free to use any open machine. You know, tell you what, right? Shinna are quite bad, but see a free gym to guests is actually pretty alright. Aye, I know. That is kind of strangely... Uh, well, that you know, all the workies maybe don't have the same kind of moral problems as the executives. Yeah. I'm telling you, mate, see if you, you wore shorts, you'd get that leg higher. <laughs> yeah. He's doing uh, chest presses there, kind of. Um, I'm head of building security, so stamina's very important to me. <laughs> yeah, he's not doing a very good job, <laughs> judging by the fact that we're standing talking to you. <laughs> Getting they... invited to use free machines and having a nap, literally next door. <laughs> uh, um... I can't yeah, it's one of the things I underestimated about, that, about these games. Like, see, when we played Final Fantasy IX and we just ran around talking to everybody. In fact, do you know, I mean, see if you watch that Final Fantasy IX video, we were trying to kind of come up with video formats on our feet, basically. There's a chest. And it's a, just no yellow. And a boss. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's brand new. Uh -huh. um, yeah, go and engage that, and while you're fighting, I'll finish this anecdote. That was easy. Oh, I think the mod folk have just been like, this room's bullshit, so let's just <laughs> no make them do really. it. Yeah, we'll go fight enough. the boss, though. Oh, random encounter. Right, right so it's, we were kind of just coming up with video formats on our feet, you know, we didn't really plan anything, but at the beginning of us recording Fighting Fantasy Nine, I was a bit kind of self-conscious about, like, record... Uh, uh, sorry, about going and speaking to everybody, because I was like, is that really make for good mm. pacing or whatever? But then, by, like... Video three or four, we were just like, yeah, do whatever the fuck we want, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I kind of underestimated how much that. See if you just go and talk to townies or yeah. randoms, it pads out the story. They make sure and put so much story, just little anecdotes, wee bits and bobs of important stuff into those conversations. Oh, this is actually just a welcome bot. Welcome, brother. <laughs> Visiting Why areas are... Look like fucking <laughs> <Cthulhu? laughs> are 8 o'clock to 5 p.m. The diorama is currently closed, so make your way to the nearest available exit, please. Oh. I get the feeling we'll have a hard time fighting this. Fight it. Oh, we did just save it, didn't we? Super bosses. Because if I say that, that's a super boss. <coughs> <coughs> Go for it. Fight, fight it, yep. Uh, visitors are reminding that attempts to access the diorama outside of the state of visiting house will be denied. Oh. <laughs> yeah, boss music and everything. Oh, this is actually... Yeah. Is, is this an actual... Is this a boss from late Later. in the game? Yeah, yeah. Dude. 
Oh, oh Tifa's butt. Oh, Tifa. Run away! <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. That's Aye. that's a disc two problem. When the game warns you. Aye. Oh, it's not even oh, making this okay. game over. That's nice. Yeah, good. Okay, so that's like, you know, that's like nearly a super boss. Aye. We'll come back and beat him up later. Oh, it's been quite nice to isn't it? He does as well, that's... Yeah, that's... See, because that's not in the original game, it would be a bit rich if they Aye. sent us back to a save point, wouldn't it? Be nice, just a wee loot drop for everyone. But yep. I, we, I mean, it's funny because we were literally, I was complaining about this room, how shite it is. It's just literally a chore. So they've obviously just realised they need to like this room. Yeah. Another wee quality of life thing about the game. Yep. The about the mod, rather. The purists might hate us for it, but hey. Yeah, I'm sick of carrying all these files everywhere. I know it's my job, but I get to meet lots of and I get to meet lots of guys, so that's the benefit of being a secretary. Oh, what's this guy doing? Um. You alright? I thought he was banging his head against the wall there. He's <laughs> wanking. Look. Just like everyone else. He is. <laughs> like, he is banging his head against oh. the wall. This conference room stinks of cum. There's some sort of <laughs> weird smell coming from somewhere. Ew. Dear. Yeah. They're coming up <laughs> is oh. my, my only other voice that I've been doing, but I've had a chest infection since last Friday, <laughs> and I think I can trace its origins <laughs> to Heidegger's voice. <laughs> They're having another executive meeting. I wonder if it's about that plate incident <laughs> I thought your inflection there you were going to hit as well like platy I was thinking about it, I was thinking about it. <clears throat> you knew uh, whenever there's a conference you can sort of hear them talking when you're in the bathroom <laughs> there you go tell yeah, you like, I skipped all this you know nice. 7 right I was when did 7 come out and what age was I when I played it you mean, question mark do you mean uh, what age <laughs> were you when you heard about this classic game yeah, and then played it exactly. years later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on you go. It's a dull job, but it's an important one, and I'm moving and shaping the world with my own two hands. Is that the security room we've seen earlier? Uh, no, well, I don't know if we've seen it. There was a guard in it. Oh, oh sorry, you mean in the uh, cutscene? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll never know. Come on, we're building the future of the planet with the McCall. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't very exhaustive in this, so yeah, no. it's, it's really oh. nice to go back and just see that the game is actually supremely well written. Yeah. And that's one of the things, you know, that uh, climb up. Yep, and there's one thing where, like, seeing the, even the old Final Fantasies, like Final Fantasy 1, folks sometimes complain about, oh, they, they don't direct you, but actually, see if you talk to the townspeople, they actually do tell you where to go. It's one of the benefits of having the having it written and like mm. this. See, rather than having voice acting and yep. just all spectacle, you could write in loads of stuff. You know, you could and and they really did have writing down in this era. And, yeah, that's you know, what I liked about Morrowind. Yeah, I'm ten I'm kind of tentatively excited about Final Fantasy 16, which at the time of recording is coming out in one month mm. for us. Yep. Um, Mate, what are we doing with that? I guess nothing. I know, I was right. Let's get this scene over with and then we'll, um, right. we'll talk about that. Jeez, that's a lot of suits. Um, we have the damage estimates for the fallen plate, Mr. President. Considering all of the investments we had set up, the loss of infrastructure and, personal, and personnel, the damage is estimated at 10 billion gil. The estimated cost to rebuild Sector 7 is... Uh, we're not rebuilding. What? We're leaving Sector 7 as it is. And restarting the new Midgar plan. The Ancientes again? <laughs> the promised land will soon be ours. I want you to raise the Mako rates of 15% in every area. Wee wee gang yee gang gang yee and please include our space program in the budget. 
Free even Scarlet will decide the extra income from the rate increase. Oh man! Sir, if, if you raise the rates again, the people will lose confidence. Not at all. The citizens won't lose confidence. They'll trust Shinra and corporate even more. <laughs> I could hear your, like, <laughs> intestines. My bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> After all, we need their support to fight the avalanche threat. <laughs> the, the who? Oops. Avalanche. <laughs> <clears throat> That, that, fuck, that, 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 um, that, <laughs> that, that, dirty s <laughs> What? <laughs> Hojo, how's the girl? It's special when she is in your... <laughs> Come on, that's Reeves voice. Ah, true. <laughs> It is specimen who she is inferior to her mother. I'm still in the process of comparing them, but for now the difference is about eighteen percent. Yeah, that's scientist voice. Love it. You'll have one soon. Just be ready to begin immediately. I doubt you can. The Cetra bloodline has been watered down from generation to generation. I was interested to see how you would say that word. Uh, what what? Set cetera. Oh, okay. It's another one that, you know, could go either way. That's how we're thinking of breeding her. Then I can produce a new specimen that will give us exactly what we need. Hmm. Do you have what do you do what you have to do? Well, <laughs> do what you have to do. I'll need to go prepare the specimen is strong but has our weaknesses. <laughs> He's a creep, man, aren't he? Bye. That concludes our meeting. Scarlet there has had a rebranding of her Aye. dress, hasn't she? Yep, definitely. Something stinks! Hey, I flushed, to be fair, before yeah. coming up here. Maybe it's her jobby coloured dress. Maybe. Sounds like Aerith is nearby. That scientist must know. I don't know. Probably. Let's follow him. Just before I forget, we didn't equip Barrett with our new weapon. That's right, cannonball. cannonball. Maybe we'd have beat that boss if we had done that. Aye, I mean, almost. Like, definitely, I would say. Yeah. How do you think you would do up in Ducks? It's my worst nightmare. No, I think I, think, I, am, um, I, think I would struggle I, as well. I'm quite, I get quite claustrophobic, but only in like extreme examples. So I remember being a kid, right? And what I, like, I get chill minded a lot because my parents were both work, so I was away at places. So I was, I, I remember me and a bunch of, the, well, at least one other kid that was at this chill mind over outside, and they had wrapped up this like carpet. And we like took shots each, like rolling each other up in a carpet. So I went first, and like no, and, 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 as in like I rolled him up in the carpet first. Thought it was pure funny, and he was all right. Let me out now, and I was like, ah, no. <laughs> but then, and I only kept him in for a couple more minutes, and then he put me in it, and I fucking freaked out. I was like, ah, get me out, can't breathe. It was like mad. I I hate it. And then see when you would have pals, and you would like. What would you what did you call it when you when you would just everybody would jump on one guy? But as a pally pile up. Pile up I see when you would do pile ups, I I, I would end up not being able to breathe. I'd be like, <laughs> get up, I can't breathe. Like, you that guy. I, I, <laughs> Needs his inhaler. So <laughs> So I it's uh, uh I I'm claustrophobic when it comes to extremes examples. So like yeah. see there was a join the RAF or something advert where this guy had to go under this like water fucking tunnel mm -hmm. and he gets his foot caught in the middle of it underwater while he's climbing through this and I'm like oh my god that would give me nightmares for like weeks man <laughs> I've heard of him that Hajo guy he's in charge of shimmy science department cloud don't you know him 
he's familiar, but I can't quite remember. Now, I'm pretty sure that Cloud did remember this. And also, look at this little, it's no foreshadow again, I just like that word, but look at look at the the, the north of this uh, screen. Yes. We're going to be there soon, there, I think. Yeah. My cat's called Scarlet. Aye, Ash. Just, you knew that if you'd watched Final Fantasy IX, she appeared in one episode. Aye. I mean, yeah. viewers, honestly, you, you really have to be keeping up. There's no excuse. You need to go back and watch them. This is the best series that we're doing right now. At the time, Final Fantasy IX was the best series that we were doing right then. Aye. Good old viewers. <laughs> I can't believe we've no, we've no mentioned this shit. Roll me up in a carpet if I'm wrong. <laughs> what I can't believe we've not spoke about yet is it's our six month anniversary of Cave. Today? Yep, today. Yeah, happy cave anniversary. And but what, no, what did you call it? I got the anniversary cave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um what's mad to me is it's only but six months doesn't feel that long a time, right? But in that time we've completed a fucking Plague Tale Requiem. Uh, a way out. Oh, we did. Final Fantasy yeah. Nine. And then we're making yeah. like no really headway into Final Fantasy Seven really, but you know, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. Eleven or twelve episodes in by this point. Yeah, exactly. What's a save point yeah. up there? Is that what's gonna mm, don't know. It's not an episode of gaming quite yet, is it? I don't think so. Let's see. Hot jaw wants two specimens. <laughs> now, see this. <laughs> you <laughs> you right. cool there. Um, see this image that's coming up? Oh. It's the stuff of nightmares for me. I don't know why, but this pure biffed me out. I don't know what it was about. See the old music? I know that we've got nice shiny music now, and maybe it's just that I'm a bit, you know, older, question mark. Mm -hmm. but no, that's true. That was the, <laughs> but the music was, well, <laughs> yeah. but the music was so creepy, man. At this bit, see when you go and look in this. Well, we see it after this fight. Um, but the image that you get, I wonder if it's been like upscaled or anything because it's fucking weird, man. Yeah, it's weird. Freaked me the hell out. It's times like this, I wish I could do modern, right? Because it would have been really funny for me to have like went into the files. And just put like <laughs> a picture of your mom on there. <laughs> 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 Everything ready for tonight's experiment, Professor, <laughs> Professor Hajar. <clears throat> Excellent, we're retained right away, babe. Raise it to the pod above. <laughs> My precious specimen. A wee glimpse of a future party member, perhaps? Yeah. Can I voice this one? Oh, of course you can. specimen? Is it going to be used for a biological experiment? Music. No, I think that's... I, I think that's the way it should be. Yeah. Cursor. <laughs> <laughs> Genova. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is pure, like, body oh. horror shit. You know? Like... That. Nay head eye boob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here we go. We're having a mind eruption. Genova. Sephiroth's. Uh, so they've brought it here. Cloud, be strong! Did you see it? Do you what? It's moving. Still alive? Where's it? That's hey, the whole <laughs> stupid. Let's just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Google. Now, is that music supposed to be doing? I think it's supposed to be there. Mm, maybe. No, nah, there it comes back now. Cursor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, actually, there, only. Oh, when you go? I was going to say, viewers, there is actually a cursor there, even though you can't see it now. But I know uh, you. I'm going to. I'll confess. Yeah, that's what you, you said last time. You did see it last time, right? Uh, it was actually a really clever joke, but now it's over. Oh, was it? I you meant it the whole time. Aye. Right. I did have the Is ability it... to remove it, but I just chose not to. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an episode of gaming, man? Hey, listen, I'll check. <laughs> uh, Thirty minutes on the fucking snout, man. Right. Okay. All right. Viewers. What's your uh, musical recommendation for this evening? All oh, right. I'm gonna go with. Oh well, ah, uh, you did transatlanticism, didn't you? Transatlanticism. Oh, you did transatlanticism. Oh, you and gave it to me. Out Max. Actually, you're right. the one that said it, and I just said, "Yeah, that's good." Yep. Right. I okay. like that one. So my one is. I'm just gonna check the name because I can't. I always forget it for some reason. But it's the Pineapple Thief, and it's Magnolia. Oh, I really as I like understand it, it's the drummer from Porcupine Tree's other band. It's actually. Tree. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know that. It's Gavin Harrison's uh, other band. Oh, I'm pretty right. sure. I actually didn't um, know at all. Porcupine Tree being a favourite of ours from back in the day, um, yep. kind of proggy, metally type thing. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit different from the last couple that we've given you, but uh, yeah, still pretty hard hitting. But there you have it. Aye. Right. So all right. there you go. See you later, viewers. Oh, and also uh, let us know yours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please. Or see if there's another form of media. Favourite movie, TV Game. show, YouTube channel, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite real life cave somewhere. Uh, oh, hey. Uh, tell us. Tell us what the... Anyway. Bye-bye.